In this video, we're going to go over the rendering settings and rendering, uh, render options in Maya. This will also cover as well that if you want to add a different background color or anything along those lines, you can do so. The first thing about rendering in Maya. When you are rendering an object or a perspective view in Maya, one thing to point out is you actually do have several renderers available to you if you're using the student version. This includes Maya Software, Maya Hardware, Arnold, and Maya Vector. With all of these elements here, it can get a little bit overwhelming. To begin, we will be focusing on the Maya software, which is really the default choice as far as rendering options available to you in Maya. You may not get the same photorealism that you would get using the Arnold renderer. However, this is a great starting point to learn how to render. The first thing to point out is what you want to be aware of on your toolbars as far as what you're going to need to set up a render. Up on the top bar here, you should see several little icons. As far as whenever you hover over them, you can see things like open render view, render the current frame, the IPR render, and also the display render settings. At this point, I'd encourage you to focus on the open render view, but also the display render settings. Let's go ahead and just start out with the open render view. If you come into the open render view, probably the two big areas you want to pay attention to is this little icon right here, which says render the current frame. But also here in the center, you have a drop down area where you can see here, you can choose between several different render options. Right now, this is set to my software. If I go ahead and hit the render button, you can see that my model has been rendered out, it shows me how long it took down at the bottom and which camera port it's actually using. In this case, it's using this perspective viewport to view my image. Now, let's actually X out of this and let's go talk about the settings a little bit here. Under the render settings, you have a lot of different options as far as what you are going to output here. For right now, I would tell you to not worry about choosing or editing as far as your render layer choices and also the render using. The render using, you are going to be able to control within the render window. However, under common, these are some settings you might want to play with as far as being able to get an output. One of the first things to draw your attention to is the path that Maya wants to use. If you remember from our previous video talking about projects, there is that projects uh, for the default and then the images folder. So within the default project in its images folder, this is where Maya wants to store any and all renders. Another area that you're probably going to want to pay attention to if you're doing a still image is on the file output. For right now, you shouldn't have to change any of these, but you do have the option if you click on the drop down. Notice that you can do a Photoshop document, a PNG, a TIFF, and some of the more common graphical uh, types here, even a JPEG and a GIF. Normally, I just leave this on PNG. Likewise as well, you also have the frame and an animation extension. Really right here, it's going to give you the single frame, which is what we're doing. We're not in animation. So it's going to be the file name that you choose and then the extension you set, which in this case is the PNG. The last things to point out is if you scroll down in the common area, you can look at your render renderable cameras. By default right now, I have this set to perspective. But if I wanted to, as you can see on the drop down, I could choose front, side, top, or even add in my own cameras. As we're starting out in Maya, the perspective view is going to work just fine for us. The last area that you will want to work with is in the image size. Notice right now we're set to HD 540, which gives us a width of 960 by 540 pixels. Not the largest size or highest resolution graphic. However, again, you are balancing between how long it takes to render versus the quality of the render. For most assignments, this is going to be fine, but be aware that you can click on the drop down if you want to for things such as your portfolios, and you could do much higher resolutions if you chose as far as your overall layout and design. Before I close out of this, I'm going to show you also under Maya software, 
When you have a specific renderer selected, as you continue on, you can actually come in and choose and set up additional options pertaining to that specific soft er software renderer. We're not going to work with this at this point in the course. However, as you move forward and when we start getting more into the special effects, being able to come in and edit the specific options within the specific renderer that you would like to use becomes very important. So I'm going to go ahead and close out here. The last thing that I want to show you regarding going through and doing a render is by default, whenever you render out, your background is going to be black as far as the render output. You can change the color if you so choose, and this is done through your camera. So let me go ahead and X out of my render view for a second, and I'm going to come back into the outliner and select the perspective camera. Now, Depending on your layout of Maya or what you were working with last, you may have to make sure that you come and click on your attribute editor here to open that up. And you want to go specifically to perspective shape. You should see the example camera here and down through the options here, you're going to see one collapsed area called environment. More specifically here, you're going to look for background color. You can actually click here and choose a different color to use. So for instance here, let's say maybe I choose more of like a brown or a rust. I hit enter. And you see how it now shows a different color for my background. If I now come in and do a new render of my scene, notice how I now have a different background color for the render view.